In this video, we will talk about section 11, subsection 6 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996. Section 11 of the Arbitration Act talks about the appointment of an arbitrator. Section 11.6 talks about the what happens when parties don't decide about the appointment of the arbitrator. So let's look at how 11.6 reads. Where under an appointment procedure agreed upon by the parties. So the parties have agreed upon the appointment procedure of the arbitrator. If they fail to act as per procedure or either the parties or the two arbitrators fail to reach an agreement under that procedure or a person including an institution fails to perform any function which is entrusted to him or it in case of an institution under that procedure then any party can approach the Supreme Court or the High Court as the case may be or a person or institution designated by such court that is the High Court or the Supreme Court to do what to take necessary measures unless of course your arbitrate your agreement provides another solution for securing the appointment of the arbitrator let's look at the recent case of ambience commercial developers versus Ida foods this was filed in the Delhi High Court, being arbitration petition number 1183 of 2021. The petitioner in this case, Ambience Commercial Developers, owns the Ambience Mall at Vasanjkunj, Delhi. The respondent wanted to take one of the retail spaces on leave and license basis, particularly a food stall and kitchen number seven. So it approached the petitioner and on 11th May 2018, an agreement was signed and the, the respondent took possession of the property on the 1st of November 2019. Thereafter, on the 28th of July 2021, the petitioner sends the respondent his bill which amounts to around Rs. 37 lakhs, 3,113 towards the charges for the premises but the respondent fails to pay petitioner makes demands consistent demands please pay please pay but uh, the respondent does not and has not till date then the petitioner under clause 34 of the agreement which they signed in 2018 sent a legal notice on the 29th of September 2021 to the respondent invoking arbitration for recovery of what accrued interest, CAM, electricity, water, LPG, promotional and LPC and other charges along with payment of interest. What does the respondent do in this case? The respondent denies the allegations, denies the liability and also introduces some false allegations against the petitioner. So now the matter is in the Delhi High Court. Now, during the course of arguments, the petitioner, see, what was his case? The petitioner stated that under cl uh, clause 34 of the agreement, in case there's any dispute between the parties, the sole arbitrator is appointed mutually by the parties. Now, as the respondent has failed to appoint the sole arbitrator, hence the caption petition was filed. What does the uh, respondent have to say in this matter? The respondent did not oppose the present petition and the evidence made therein, but has controverted that the disputes are and has not contributed controverted that the disputes are arbitrable. And uh, the, learned, the learned counsel for the respondent further states that an arbitrator may be appointed for adjudication, adjudication purposes of this dispute between the parties. Thus, on the 21st of January 2022, the Delhi High Court allowed the petition. It appointed a sole arbitrator to adjudicate the disputes between the parties. 
it directed that the arbitrator be governed the fees of the arbitrator be governed by the fourth schedule of the arbitration act it also directed the learned arbitrator to ensure compliance under section 12 of the arbitration act and disposed of the petition